Hello, everypony. I'm Cirrus, and welcome to Point Express. Before you get on with your fanfic reading, I have one thing I need to mention. And it's why this audio clip sounds like shit. Anyway, um, due to the fact that I wasn't where I normally am when recording, I didn't have the time and, well, the processing speed to actually get all the amounts of editing out that I need to because this stupid laptop here is a piece of crap. Anyway, um, I have one other thing to mention, and that is that um, I'm going to be providing a link to my DeviantArt page in the description, and it's also attached to the channel under the About section. And for some reason, I'm having trouble getting links to appear on the cover art um, of the channel. If someone could help fix uh, this little issue I'm having, uh, I would very much appreciate that. Anyway. Not to waste too much of your time, you can get over, get on with your fanfic reading. Hello, everybody. What's up? Welcome back to the next chapter of this awesome fanfic reading we're doing. Anyway, before we get that going, um, I have a little thing to mention about my name, um. I will no longer be going as Spartan, however, if you prefer to call me that. When talking to me, if you do talk to me ever, you can still comment that. That doesn't matter. Um, but, uh, my new name is CirrusX20. I'll put that on the screen there for you, and, um, I'll probably mention something about it in the description, too. Um, anyway, other than that, uh, the reason there hasn't really been any, uh, these readings out lately is I've been busy. I have a lot stuff going on right now and I don't really have enough time necessarily to find a point when I'm not just completely tired of doing other stuff to actually do these readings but um I found time yay okay let us begin the awesomeness the magic of a rainbow chapter four is this really love? Twilight woke up before the crack of dawn. <coughs> Let me start over. Twilight woke up before the crack of dawn the next morning, hoping to get her chores done before Rainbow woke up, so that they could spend the whole day together. Little did she know, Rainbow had also woken up, and was already on her way to the library. Just and just a eager, just uh, just as eager to spend her entire day with Twilight. Hey, Twilight! Rambo shouted as she came flying in through an open window, landing, ex ex landing, ex landing expertly on the table. Ah! Twilight screamed, caught off guard by Rainbow's entrance. Oh, hi, Rainbow. What are you doing? Rainbow asked, seeing, uh, seeing, ugh, seeing as, seeing an entire section of shell. God damn it! Seeing an entire section of shells empty. I'm checking for damaged books. Twilight said, as she magically flipped through a book. Sometimes, Spike gets found in them. Sometimes, Spike gets food in them, or a pony returns them with a page missing. Really? I thought every pony respected the books, Rainbow said, as she picked up a book called Everything you need to know about love. Did you read this one? Huh? Twilight said as she turned to face Rainbow. No, but Spike has. How can you tell? Rainbow asked as she looked at the book in inquisitively. Twilight quickly lifted the book in the air and began to flip through the pages, 
looking for something inside. When she finally stopped, Rambo started laughing uncontrollably. A sketch of Rarity was in the middle of the page with the words Miss Spike. <laughs> um, Mr. What? That's that's totally Miss Spike written on all, written all around it. This is how Twilight said with a gig with a this is how Twilight said with a grin. Whoa. I never knew Spike was that love crazy. Rainbow said between laugh fits. Yeah, Twilight said as she fixed the book. Hey, maybe we should read this. Why? Rainbow asked, laughing suddenly, laughing suddenly stopping. Well, well, we would know if we're going to going to fast or if we're doing something we're not supposed to do. I didn't think there were any... I, I didn't think there... I don't think there are any rules when it comes to love, Twilight. Yeah, but you couldn't hurt, right? Twilight said. Ugh, fine. We'll, re we'll read it. Rainbow said as she sat next to Twilight. Okay, it says to first find out if you are really in love, Twilight said as she began to read the book. And how would we do that? Rainbow said sarcastically. Number one, are you physically attached to the other pony? Twilight said quickly, looking at Rainbow. Yes. I think it... <clears throat> I think I'll have to say yes, too. Number two. Are you... M Number two. Are you mentally attached to them, and if so, why? Twilight said... S Twilight said, scratching up her face in thought. So... Does it mean why we love each other? Rainbow asked in conf in confusion. I think. Well, I love you because. Uh. Awkward silence. <laughs> oh, this is hilarious. You show me the daring do books, Rainbow said happily. And uh that it? I don't know, Rainbow said, her face scrunched up in frustration. Okay, well, I love you be I love you because awkward silence. You're really good at flying? Twilight said, and I really like your mane. <laughs> oh my god. They would do that. I love this guy. We messed up, didn't we? Rainbow said quickly while dropping her head. Maybe, Twilight said, also dropping her head. Uh... I think I'm gonna go, Rainbow said, as she slowly picked herself up off the ground. Oh, uh, okay. See you later, I guess. Twilight said, suddenly having chest pains as Rainbow flew out the window. Twilight felt as if some part of her was leaving, too. But she couldn't figure out why. After a few minutes, she went back to cleaning the books. But this time, when she thought about Rambo, 
all she wanted to do was cry. As Rainbow left the library, she could feel her heart breaking. It was as if the Wonderbolts had turned her down. She couldn't figure out why. Did me and Twy just break up? Is that why I feel so bad right now? Rainbow thought to herself as she flew around random as she flew around randomly. Before she knew it, she was heading towards Fluttershy's cottage, and as she got closer, she began to tear up. Her broken heart starting to come to the surface. Fluttershy, I need your help, Rainbow shouted as she came in the door, only to look up and see one very worried Fluttershy and one very confused Applejack. Oh, Rainbow Dash, what's wrong? Fluttershy said as she noticed Rainbow's teary eyes. <clears throat> yeah, what's wrong, Rainbow? Applejack said, only somewhat worried. I think I just got dumped, Rambo said, her emotions finally getting the best of her. What? Fluttershy and Applejack both said, both shouted, both caught off guard by Rambo's statement. The two of them quickly looked up at each other, both confused and afraid. Fluttershy was worried for her friend's emotions. Where, where is Apple? I don't even know what this. <sighs> Whereas Applejack was worried that this could be another one of Rainbow's pranks. When Rainbow didn't start laughing, Applejack began to actually worry about what <laughs> about what was causing Rainbow to act this way. What's going on, Sugar Cube? I can't do Applejack right now. Sorry. Applejack said as she. Bleh. Applejack said as she leaned towards Rainbow. Um. I think she's going to respond, Applejack. <laughs> Okay, anyway. <laughs> um, I don't think she's going to respond, Applejack. Fluttershy said as she started to pull Rainbow towards her. Um, as she started to pull Rainbow towards her couch. We need to give her time to calm down. Well, well, okay then, Applejack said. She sat down next to Rainbow. Are you ready to talk, Sugar Cube? Applejack said when Rambo started to stop crying. Stop. <laughs> uh. That's hilarious. I. I think. Rambo said quietly. So, what's going on? Well, me and. Twilight went on a date last night. Really? Applejack asked, surprised that her two friends were, would go on a date. Yeah, and I was, and I had said that I love her, loved her, and I think she felt the same, but this morning, Rambo said, fighting back tears. What happened? 
Feather Shy asked. Well, there was a book, and we started to read it. Brembo said, her eyes tearing up. What was the book on? Applejack asked, while she rubbed Rambo's back in an attempt to com comfort her. Love. So what happened? Fluttershy asked. We couldn't say why we loved each other, Rainbow said, as she put her ho hooves to her face. Applejack and Fluttershy quickly looked at each other, not sure of what to do now. Well, <clears throat> well, Rainbow, maybe the book was wrong, Applejack said quietly. <sighs> I need to read ahead. Yeah, Fluttershy said. Yeah, but still, we couldn't think about why we're in love, Rainbow said, slightly crying. Rainbow, Applejack said as she turned to face Rainbow. S sometimes, you just never know why you're in love, but you just are, so don't worry about it. Sorry, I can't do Apple Trick right now. Yeah, but... No buts. Do you love her? Yeah. Then you love her. But... No buts. Just go, just go to her and fix this. Applejack said as she noticed... Bleh. Applejack said as she notioned towards the door. But, what if she doesn't want to? Then you have to make- <laughs> Then you have to make her love you, Applejack said. This- This isn't the Rainbow Dash I know. She wouldn't be afraid of something like this. Yeah, Rainbow. You're not this afraid of anything else, Fluttershy said, trying to cheer on Rainbow. Yay! Yeah, I guess I am. Rainbow said, her confidence starting to return. Yeah, Applejack said, as Rainbow started to get up. Yeah, Rainbow said, as she shot toward the door. Well, I'm off, I'm off. Thanks for the help. No problem, Sugar Cube. Applejack shouted as Rainbow flew away. So. <clears throat> so, so, Applejack said as she turned to Fluttershy. <laughs> How long have you known about this? A few days, Fluttershy squeaked. Huh? Applejack muttered. I wonder why. <clears throat> I wonder why she didn't tell uh, tell me about this. Yay! I was shorter than I expected. I think. Oh. Yep, shorter than I expected. Anyway, another chapter of this slightly boring fanfic reading in the bag. Um, I can't wait to get onto something else, because there's things I want to read, and this is not one of them, but I'll finish it. Because I, I gotta finish where I start, right? Right? Anyway, um, for them comments. Let's see what we get this time. If I can even get to the comments. Jeez. <laughs> well, this is kind of a slow process here. But anyway, um, like I said before, I am gonna, I am changing my name to Cirrus. Uh, it doesn't really affect anyone, really. Um, 
it's just for the people who are new to the channel and stuff because uh, my old name kind of has some a weird name to it it's also the name of my OC Cirrus um, I don't quite yet have a drawing but I do have a vector of him so there'll be a drawing and a vector on the screen should be should be somewhere on the screen there should be some drawings and stuff look for that anyway let me find these comments fan fiction so freaking laggy so freaking laggy so freaking laggy fan fiction so freaking laggy it's weird but slightly cute <laughs> okay john h says i can get into the <clears throat> i can get into this but the story needs a once over for punctuation and such i would have to agree on that one um Soren Altus. Soren Altus, I think. I'm sorry for pronouncing your name wrong. Um, says, Love Twydash. It's always been my favorite. <laughs> Love Twydash. It's always been a favorite of mine. Anyways, the story is really good, and all the characters are, well, in character, so. Yay! the the dialogue flows well and comes off natural i love the direction you are taking this the story but i have to i have just one concern the individual chapters and the story as a whole seem to be moving super fast for me anyways there just doesn't seem to be any any ugh, any build up there is no real tension i know this is supposed to be a romantic comedy but even comedies need to have some ugh, even comedies need to have a strong rising action i know everyone here is Here's this in in, in 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 innumerable times, but I feel that the story needs more show versus tell. Show, show the ugh, show the readers what Ram what exactly Rambo and Twilight are feeling, rather than telling us. Show us how it felt for Rambo to be on on her first date with her best friend rather than just telling us huh this guy makes a really good point and I think that's why I don't really like the story that much is because there's no real fun in it there's nothing to be discovered despite all of that I do like the story and I shall be watching to see where you decide to, where you decide to sail with my favorite ship. Smiley Twilight. Okay. Anyway, that is that. Not nah, is that comment. I'll read one more because that one was a long one. Um. J Canna H, I think, or J Canna, whichever one you prefer. Um. Did I really, did I really just read this in less than three minutes? Wow. Any any who's, any who's, good chapter. That doesn't make any. What? I don't I don't know. I don't know. Um, good chapter. Why why did? <laughs> Wait a sh. Way too short, though. I expect the next one to be about 20% longer. That guy's cool. That guy's cool. Okay, anyway, um, I hope you enjoyed Awesomeness, and there will be more Awesomeness to come in about a week. Like I said, sorry. And, like it, like I said, do you actually want me to finish this? Because if anyone's actually really wanting me to finish this, then I'll... Um, then I will finish it 
sure that I'm going to finish it. But if there's not enough people really actually paying attention to it and watching it that much, then there's really no point, right? Um, so if I get less than 10 views on the next one in about three days, then, well, if I get less than 10, 10 views on this one in about three days, then I'm not going to finish the chapter. So m make sure you get those views there if you actually want this next one, the next chapter after this one to come out. Anyway, I'm Cirrus. This is Pony Express. Catch you guys later. By the way, I'm not sure what my intro is anymore, but I'll just do it. Serious? Out.